Dude, that, that bike. Yo. Dude, it sounds sick. It, yo, it rides amazing. What'd you say? What up? Welcome back to another video, guys. So we got the Road Glide back at home. We got that Fueling 465 Reaper in it already. Uh, stage two definitely woke the bike up a lot more than what it already was. Feels great, sounds great. Today we're gonna be doing the first official ride uh, on the bike on on camera with the uh, with the camera installed in it. Tried to film it the other day as soon as I left the shop, but my battery died rookie mistake didn't have any more batteries so yeah man um i also installed this new screaming eagle air cleaner right here have a breather air cleaner really like the way that looks same air cleaner that comes on the uh, st models and the cpos so just changes the look a lot more even though the stock one that it comes with is already uh, a heavy breather just cosmetics and it looks cooler so do a little nice little walk around on the bike those Baja lights looking killer, like always in the front. This build is coming out just how I intended it to be, little by little. We're, uh, we're getting there. We obviously got a lot more stuff to do to the bike. I'll give you guys a nice little cold start first. Oh, she sounds great, man. Nice little deep lobe. And it'll... It'll get deeper as the bike warms up a bit more. But it's exactly the sound that I wanted from this bike. The exact performance that I wanted as well. thing that I really didn't like about it uh, was just a little lagginess that it had on the throttle so you would have to really open it up in order to get some real power and now with a little snap the bike just opens up a lot more and that power is right there exactly when you want it and exactly when you need it you know we find ourselves in situations at times where we might have to dip in and out of traffic at a certain time and you want that power to be there right when you need it you don't want that power just to build up you want it right there and then and this has that now no lagginess anymore when you want to crank on that throttle and as soon as you crank on that throttle you hear it opening up <laughs> wow yo it sounds great man it sounds great as soon as the cam got installed, we turned it on. It sounded good, but I'm like, wait a minute. It's, it's, I don't know. It's something about it. It's just not deep enough. But as soon as they, they tuned everything, uh, the, the bike just, it it, 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 it was different. It was a different bike. So obviously the tuner did a great job in changing that whole aspect up as well. We'll get on the highway right now, open her up really good, see how fast she goes up there, up in those higher speeds. Obviously, cruising at this speed, and if I wanted just to get a bit more power up in fourth gear, hold on, let me just, uh, okay, we're clear. 
Are we? Yeah, we're clear. Yeah. <laughs> Yo, she gets up there quick. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. I am happy with the performance on this bike now, man. As you know, I have the uh, SNS 475 cam on my Lowrider S. And a lot of people kept asking me why did I choose to go with a different cam on this bike. I did my research, did a lot of thinking. Um, and I, I, A, I wanted to try something different. I wanted to have two products just to kind of put against each other, um, just to see different numbers. Even though this is a heavier bike than a Lowrider S, and you know, as far as performance, that's gonna be quicker anyways, but I just wanted to try something different. And it all came down to either doing this fueling, it was the 475 SNS, or it was the 3030 cam. I, I chose this one, man, the, the fueling kit, comes with everything, literally everything you need, even extra parts that other cam kits don't come with. And for me, it was a no-brainer for the price and everything they came with. This was my uh, my choice, and I'm super happy with it. No, this the the, the cam wasn't given to me. I bought it with my uh, hard-earned cash, um, and it's uh, it, it's worth every penny. I'm telling you, man. If you guys want to get more power out of your bike, if, you want, if you're looking for that, that deep Harley-Davidson sound that your Milwaukee A is missing, definitely upgrade your bike to a stage two. Wake it up. It's gonna sound different. It's gonna perform more. And it's just gonna put a big, huge smile on your face like it just did on mine. You hear that? <laughs> it sounds great. Ah, <laughs> oh, beautiful day out here in dirty Jersey, baby. Bluish, grayish skies, but we get some clear skies. Cold weather, though. It's around 39 degrees, 39, 40 degrees. So with the wind chill on the bike right now, you guys obviously know it feels like probably 25 on here. But it's good. I'm happy. I got my heated grips on. I got my heated liner on, a hoodie, and uh, this windbreaker, and I'm good. So, on the highway, the bike does great. Around a town, the bike does great. I kind of want to do a bit more of around a town, you know, like stop sign to stop sign type of riding, just to see how the bike handles and does well. You know, sometimes when you get these bigger cams on those low RPMs, it, you know, the it, it's the bike just doesn't act kind of like the way you want it to act. So I do need to do a little bit more of that riding, cruising around where I live at. Then I'll give you guys some of that feedback as well in another upcoming video. Um, we're actually heading back to the Tour Custom Cycle Shop right now because we got Sal's bike on there. Sal's bike is going under the knife. The whole bike is taken apart. Um, he's going to do a 128, an SNS 128 kit. He ordered everything. So we're going to be doing that video, the install video on that. So tune in for that. That video should be up sometime next week. But he's going to be there right now. We'll walk in and uh, we'll show you guys his bike. Say what's up to everybody. Damn. <laughs> Yo, it sounds, it sounds crazy. It sounds crazy. Ah, I'm happy. I am happy. If anybody does have a stage two on their bike right now, let me know your feedback on your cam. If you have a different one, or if you have the same cam, let me know if you are happy with it, or if you're not. Maybe if you want to switch it out to another cam. There's some people out there who switch out from cam to cam like ever so often just to see, you know, if they can get better numbers or better performance out of their bikes. Um, I mean, I'm really happy with mine for now. I, I, I don't think I'm, I will be doing any changes on the road when it comes to that. 
I'll keep it as is. But this bike feels great. <laughs> Yo, I just you see like that's that's how you know you're happy when you get off your bike and you just laugh or chuckle and you just want to oh god damn it I love her let's go see what these guys are up to inside let's go see where are my favorite men What's up, bro? What are the numbers? What's cracking? Dude, that, that bike. Yo. Dude, it sounds sick. It, yo, it rides amazing. What'd you say? All right, guys. So well, we're going to. Where, where are we at right now? The, this, these are. Oh, look at this. We got a nice little beautiful setup. This is the whole kid that's gonna be going on Sal's bike right here. Um, <laughs> yes, 128 kit. 128 kit going on his 2021 Rogue Glide CVO. And we are gonna be filming everything. I'm gonna catch you guys in the next one. Like always, let the force be with you. Ride safe and enjoy the ride, baby. Peace. <laughs>